The changes came slowly at first. Most didn't realize, or didn't care, and accepted them. They chose a comfortable life. Some didn't. And those who refused to conform were pushed to the sidelines, criminalized. They became our clients. The game Mirror's Edge is set in a city that is seemingly perfect with minimal crime and high standards of living, but this is achieved by a military regime that monitors all forms of communication to spy on its citizens, controls the media, crushes dissent, and enacts strict regulations on wide-ranging aspects of life, from the right to protest, to smoking, and consuming alcohol, which are both prohibited. The city holds sham elections, and any official who deviates from the party line is destroyed. I'm a dead with friends with Pope. Organized protests, lobbied the mayor, took me and Kate on marches. But I never really understood why back then. What it meant. Merck said your mom died. Privacy is a fundamental human right and is guaranteed by the UN's Universal Declaration of Human Rights. The main character in Mirror's Edge is a runner, a person who protects the privacy of citizens by delivering messages on their behalf, free of government interference and surveillance. In our modern world, government surveillance of citizens by way of technology has grown substantially in almost all societies and has led to massive privacy rights violations across the globe. Kate? What are you doing here? What happened? Did you? No! You don't recognize him? Should I? It's Robert. Robert Pope? Friend of Dad's? Shit, that Pope. He called me. We hadn't talked much since I joined up. He had a break-in last week. He's still a campaigner. Don't you read the news? It's not news anymore. It's advertising. He was running for mayor. Authoritarian regimes generally present the facade of democracy while purging party members who deviate from the right mode of thought. We have seen this recently in Turkey, where over 100,000 people have been arrested, detained, or fired from Turkish political, academic, judicial, and economic sectors. With dissident voices purged, policymaking is streamlined and the leadership's power is unchecked, but this creates an environment in which there is no avenue to defend human rights, and particular rights, such as the right to privacy, are not respected by the government. The guise of national security can lead to the government overstepping its power and violating the citizens' personal freedom. Listen, Krieg says Kate's just been tried. Already? Wonders of the Swift Justice Program, huh? They found her guilty, Faith. Of course they did. Convoy's taken her off to jail in less than an hour. Telephone records, email and text communications, search histories and web browsing histories and more are all fair game in today's world. Government officials throughout the world have access to more personal information on an individual than that person's family and friends. The world of Mirror's Edge shows what develops when citizens do not strongly oppose the growth of massive government surveillance. Why us? We're no threat. Classic warfare. Break the lines of communication. Shoot the messengers. Without Pope, and without the runners, your clients, those who just won't let go of the old city will be cut off, vulnerable, and this city can clean up the last of its dregs. So this is just the start. I prefer to think of it as an end. 